Hey guys, King Janet here and welcome to my Road to Recovery FIFA 13 series here in Ultimate Team. Now I know I've not uploaded for a good while, and that's because there's a couple of things come up here. It's like things like, there's been a couple of family issues I don't want to go into really. I mean, there's also been personal issues as well in terms of my own well-being, but it's just, it, it, it's not just the FIFA things that have been affected, if that makes it any better. I've also missed out on things like going out drinking with mates or going to the football, which I love doing. But um, yeah, let's just get straight into the video. I know you're not watching this video to hear me complain or moan or whatever and make up excuses. You're here to watch me make this brand new squad that I randomly built. Now, I kind of got to the point where I'm trying to trade, and I'm, I'm still trying to trade up to recover myself uh, in my trading record. But I still really enjoy playing games and making random hybrids, so I built a free different league hybrid here, and it's a pretty interesting one indeed. In goals, we are going to start with Marchetti. Marchetti is a brilliant goalkeeper, he's very OP, 86 diving, 88 reflexes. The only thing you can let him down, arguably, is the positioning of 81. And the kicking as well isn't too great usually, but you don't know really have the usual to make him play for that. He's a very solid goalkeeper indeed, and that he is in his team on pure merit. Now this is where things get a little bit unique, because the first centre back is this guy, Astori. Now this guy, he plays he plays for Cagliari or whatever, and obviously a six and nine pace means you know what the fuck. Plus he's got a strange moustache. What the hell has he got a catapult on his look for? But he's got 83 defending and 80 head. He's a very solid defender for me. Uh, but he's there mainly because of chemistry reasons but he's still a very solid player indeed. The centre back partner is Ogbonna just because we want a cheap, you know, cheap little beast. He's Italian, he plays in the same league and it's a perfect chemistry thing there. The right back we have got will be Cicinho, he plays for Seville, Brazilian 4 star skill right back. Yep, he's 5'5 five five and uh, he's an expensive guy for me anyway. I got him for just over 13,000 coins, which was the cheapest option at the time. Cicinho, he's not too bad a player actually, he's got some great physical stats in him. Also, 4 star skills are nice as well. And uh, yeah, he, he does actually do pretty well in defence, I've had no complaints about him. He's a very solid player indeed. Left back we have got is Chris Quito. So there's the three leagues involved right there. Now you know the three leagues involved. You've got the Russian league, you've got the Serie A and you've got La Liga. So I'm going to make a hybrid using all three of these leagues. So to go with the, the, the Russian league first, we've got Witzel. He is an insane wee player. Four star weak foot, four star skills. He's only had one goal for me, you know what I mean? Which is strange because he's got the high attacking work rate. Uh, but it's, it's, he's a very solid player indeed, he's got great dribble on him, you know what I mean, great dribble on uh, It's decent shot on him as well, nice pass and, and good defensive stats as well, even though he's got a high attacking work rate and a medium defensive work rate He's been a very solid player for me indeed, so no complaints whatsoever with him The guy right in the middle of the pitch will be Nyangalan or whatever, Nyang, I just call him Nyang, you know what I mean Four star weak foot, four star skills on him as well didn't score a goal with him, but he's still a fantastic wee player. Great dribbling, great pace, good shot on him as well, fantastic passing. And he's also got some very solid defensive uh, attributes to him. Although, the, the heading lets him down compared to Witzel, because if Witzel's had a 77, he's got great heading, but uh, compared to Niangalan, 67 heading. But he's still a very solid player indeed. And the third midfielder you might have seen is Trochowski. This is why I built a team. I built a team around these three midfielders, and it was a case of trying to build you know, the, the team around those three. Uh, I've, I've used Nyang before, you know what I mean, Nyang. I, Christ, I was just call him a Nyang cat or something like that. But uh, what so I've not really used too much and I've been very happy with him indeed. Trochowski has just been his phenomenal usual self. But if I'm being brutally honest, I can understand the games I've played, I can finally find some flaws with him. Things like his strength, you know what I mean? He was very prone to losing the ball. In my opinion, of all the games I've played, I was, I was against some very solid opponents. You know, this is a relatively cheap team I built here, and the games I had were against some very solid individuals indeed. It's crazy the kind of teams that some people had. You know, I mean, had you had like guys like Inform Ribery and Inform Robin in the same team, Inform Royce and all that. You know, a lot of Bundesliga teams, a lot of expensive Bundesliga teams I came up against. You know, what I mean, which is just absolutely insane. And Trochowski really showed his lack of strength at times. He was easily shrugged off the ball. But he got he still got four goals in six games as a centre mid, so that tells you. you just seeing you know, how lethal he can be. Now, uh the centre forward here is going to be a La Liga, you know, theme to it. And this this guy, 
to this guy. I mean, I cannot speak highly enough for this guy. This guy is ridiculous. Manuel Moral, Del Moral, whatever, you know. Del Moral, anyways, the usual kind of name for him. He's a very, very nice pace team. He only got one goal for me, but that one goal was an absolute cracker. It was just, he, he scored a fantastic volley into the top corner, which you'll see at the end. And, um, I was pretty pleased with this guy, actually. He won man the match quite a few times as well. He was a very good player indeed. He has, he's got a good shot in him, he's got a good pace, nice dribbling, and he linked up pretty well as well, you know what I mean? He had some solid passing, despite the 64, the 64 rating in the passing, he was able to set up quite a few goals as well. The front two we have got will be Obafemi Martins, who is OP as hell, and Adrian. Now Martins is obviously, I, I think Martins is the star of the team. Uh, six goals in six games for me, it's just, he's a fantastic player. The five star weak foot just means that he, anywhere at all around the area, I have a foot, he's a huge threat, plus with that 93 pace, it's just a crazy. And uh, the other centre forward of court, the other striker, sorry, is Adrian, who got five goals in the six games. Adrian, the three star weak foot and three star skill moves is not something I would usually go for, but he is just incredible in the ball anyway, you know, 85 pace, 85 dribbling. 74 shot in him as well. I'll be honest, I went and lost a couple of games on this side. Also won a couple of games on this side. Look at the top corner, 99 chemistry. As usual, it doesn't say 99 here, just because the game's been weird. Uh, I'll, I'll back out and go back in, just to, just to prove, absolute once and for all, that this is a fully 9 chem team. Look at that, the chemistry is absolutely perfect. 9 chemistry for absolutely everyone. Now, um, what do I want to talk about in this team? Strengths and weaknesses. The strengths are well up front. They're pretty lethal, Martins. And, uh, the the one common theme you'll see is that uh, most of the team are non-rare. You know what I mean? The two centre backs, the three CMs, the centre forward, and one of strikers. You know what I mean? You've only got like four rare cards in the entire team, and one of them is a silver. No offence, this is you. No offence, teammate, but you are silver. It can't be helped. Can't be denied. But um, so yeah, it's not the strongest team, and I think that is kind of reflected in game because. Things like I told about, talked about on, like Trochowski is dribbling or whatever, got put up a wee bit for that. And uh, Manuel Aldo Mar Del Moral, he's a decent wee player, but at the same time, I felt the, I felt that he was not the strongest option there. And Adrian as well, as good as Adrian is, Rodrigo's a better Spanish striker, there's just no two ways about it, mate. <laughs> just, there's, no, there's no denying that Rodrigo's a better Spanish striker. 79 rated because he's got good pace, good dribble, and decent shot on him as well. But I would prefer Rodrigo any day of the week. And uh, I just think, okay, I, mean, I didn't really feel uh, I was up against some pace teams at times in this game, and uh, at times I felt it was a story in defence. But but he was really so, really solid to me. I would recommend getting a story for teams because it's it's, it's also a different kind of option. A story is mainly a team to link up in the eye, just like Chris Quito, like some way a bit so. And uh, Trochowski links up with Cicino and a lot of rubbish. So there's a lot of, kind of direct kind of links there, you know what I mean, to help people keep the chemistry going. But at the same time, it's a team. I don't know if I'll just struggle with 4 3 1 2. It has been a while since I've played all my team, remember, you know, it's been a, you know, a good few days, whatever, at least. And um, a good week anyway, whatever. I've been, I've been on all my team, but I've just kind of trading about, so it's a while since I actually played a game. I was fairly content with the team. But, um,. Would I recommend it? I don't know, I mean, also, I'll, I really enjoy using Trojowski, but it's one of these things where I, I actually started to recognise his weaknesses now. I can understand why he's 75 rated, even though he's got some nice pace to him, decent shot in him, nice passing, he's got great dribbling. It's just the defensive side of his game, and even, even trying to hold on to the ball is what I consider to be defensive. The strength, the lack of strength, and the uh, inability for him to get the ball back, you know what I mean, things like that really showed up big time in my opinion, but he's still one of my favourite players in the entire game but I was up against some really solid teams, you know what I mean, if you're, gonna, if you're up against some really expensive OP teams you may struggle with this team, especially when this guy formation as well, because 4-3-1-2 is not everyone's cup of tea. I've had squad builders before, 4-3-1-2, where I've really loved it, you know what I mean, but I had the right players, they were really solid. This is a bit of a different challenge, you know. You've got a centre back that people won't be accustomed to using, you've got a centre forward that people may not be accustomed to using, and uh, it's just. I don't. 
I li I like the team, but at the same time, I'm actually about to sell them. Put it that way. Yeah, because I, mean, I, I had like two teams on, made it a team like a random 3 5 to a team just so I could keep this team relatively fit. But after like six games or so, I um, decided I'm going to sell them on again, whatever. I got some goals on them, but I, I did enjoy them. It was a nice challenge. Three different leagues, remember? Three different leagues, all sorts of different nationalities. And they're like Brazilian, Italian, Belgian, German, Spanish, Nigerian, even, you know what I mean? So six different nationalities. But it's. I'm not going to keep the team. I would recommend trying out though, because I still had some nice moments with it. If you're against some insanely OP teams, uh, you will struggle probably. But I, really, I enjoyed what I, you know, I put the games I played with men. I mean, I mean, there's some promise to them. But when when I got when things worked for this team, they worked very well. And when things didn't work, then they did not work well whatsoever. You know, I mean, it was one of these things. It was always a stream. There was never an average feeling to it. Either the team felt fantastic, or the team felt frustrating. So, make of that what you will. But I'm going to end it there. I'm going to show you the goals at the end anyway. Which is the end is now, so you're about to see your goals coming up. But I saw a bit of lack of videos. As I said, a couple of personal problems, family problems that I'm dealing with. But hopefully those are behind me now. And uh, hopefully you enjoy the goals, the brief goals anyway, coming up with this team that I managed to get. But this has been King Jad. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace out. Thank you.